Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Steve. About to react to this Abba and Preach vid. Apparently, we have an update on the red pillar that we just discussed. It's titled, Red Pillars Hate Single Moms So Much They Can't Stop Dating Them. What? And it's the, the man who was calling himself a top-tier man in the thumbnail with, with this white woman who's pregnant. I... Let, let, let's get the whole story and see what's going on. Let's watch. When I tell you guys all these red pillars are scammers, this is what I mean. I feel like red pillars date single moms more than the average person. For a movement that yells and moans about single moms as much, that so many of them date these women. Why do you think these guys go either for single moms, 18-year-olds, or they try to import? You notice a pattern between all three of these? Mm-hmm. There's an update to uh, the previous story that we were on. <laughs> Please share this with me. Fellas, this is why I tell you, y'all got to be careful about where y'all get y'all relationships slash life advice from from these guys on Hello. this internet, on these podcasts. Because they, yesterday I made a video about this that fugazi the coolie dude or whatever talking about being a top tier man. And I always kind of knew dude was a little buddy. But um, yeah, so here's the clip. Don't qualify for the top tier men and that is the truth. Can you believe you're a top tier man? By what standard? I'm six foot four. Only about what? Eight percent of the entire world is six foot four. I make well over a hundred hundred k a year, and I'm black at that. If you add that on. Oh, he took in her whole little white family, and then had two kids. Maybe the oldest one is his. That's why he said that. That's why that's why he talked the way he talked. That's why. That's why he thinks he's a top tier man because he's six four and black. This is why. He's the trinket. He's the fetish. But this is the dude that y'all follow, fellas. This is the this is the rhetoric that y'all subscribe to from hypocrites. A man, a black man playing stepdaddy to some white kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm not familiar with this cinematic universe. <laughs> so I decided to look up a couple of this dude's clips, and it's just him ragging on single moms all day long, and how oh. they're not lifey material. So if you are a single mother, mm. single mothers normally don't have good character, generally speaking, because they chose the wrong man, meaning that they normally broke up the relationship. Poor, single moms show the worst characteristic traits, to be honest. No, what single mothers show is that you're selfish because you prioritize yourself over the kid. If you prioritize the kid, you would have worked through, through thick and thin to keep that relationship with the father. A man, a black man playing stepdaddy to some white kids with a single mother. There's so much I can say, but let's just... Mind you, getting her knocked up because she's currently pregnant, not even married to her. They've been together since 2017 and has yet to put a ring on her finger. So Christmas is around the corner. And since we got a little mixed baby here, uh, we're going to see which Santa he chooses. We got a black Santa. What does that have? This is so stupid. Where is the relevance? The white ones. And uh, let's see which one he chooses. Y'all are time. so okay. goofy. One, it's a baby. Two, three. Which one are you going to pick? Like all the boxes were checked. Cringy interracial I hate uh, couple content. Uh, pro she's begging to be proposed to. She's a single mother. All of these things that he tells you in clips like this. As a single mother, do you believe you deserve a man in the top percentile? I'm able to do everything else, whether or not I have a, a baby or not. I still can be a great wife. Yeah, yeah listen, you know, single moms, recreational use only. <laughs> No, keep it going. Right keep now. it rolling. Keep it fucking rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're doing more than recreational use with her, buddy. Exactly. <laughs> Talking about being with someone as recreational. That's crazy. I mean, it's not crazy because that's what these guys talk about all the time. Hold up, that's what that Donovan Sharp used to say. That's not even his line. Mm. 
Yeah. That's a Donovan Sharp line. Sure. This is all that same red pill shit. I was a single bomb. And yes, listen, I know single bombs are bad and this and that and the other, but we all got to start somewhere. Come, don't commit to them. To me, it's just the audacity of people. And like, you, to them. you know what? You want to have this goofy ideology? That's fine. Go live that life. But you're not even living it. You not and you even broadcast living the it. fact that you're not living it. They're all scammers. If they're not all scammers, it's like a coin flip. Actually, that's not even true because I'm being generous by saying it's 50 50. The odds are even lower than that. It's like skydiving without a parachute. You're probably going to land on a scammer. Ah, I got no words. Where are you going to stop him? You, 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 you got no words. It's the audacity. I don't know how these people live with themselves. I don't know how they scam. But more importantly, I don't know how y'all keep falling for it. Y'all they keep falling for it. Like, ooh, woo, ooh, ooh, woo. Ooh, <laughs> woo, king. Meanwhile, he going to ooh, woo with his single mom. Mm. And then he telling you and shaming you for... I feel like red pillars, they, single moms more than the average person. It's actually mind blowing to me for a movement that yells and moans about single moms as much that so many of them date these women, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just crazy how con- like at this point, anytime someone will tell me don't date single moms, I'm like, how many kids are you a step daddy to? That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm gonna start thinking. How do you look yourself in the mirror? How do you go home to your fa- How do you go home to your girl? No way. You say- is it just a check you give her? Like, hey, bitch, I talk shit about you. Here's your payout. Like. Why? It costs you nothing not to do this. You could probably still make a bunch of red pill points and not say this goofy ass shit. You know what I think it is? Yes, well, but no, I, they're just pandering to their audience because they feel like this is what they want to hear. So they have watched Fresh and Fit or whoever else. I don't know any others. <laughs> oh, Donovan, the man they showed. You know, they watched these people, saw the audience that they you know, were able to acquire and how much money they were able to make. So they're just talking out their ass and trying to please their audience, even though they don't even believe what they're saying. Crazy. I don't think these kinds of guys can actually get the women that they want. So they go for women who are having a little bit more of a difficult situation or willing to accept more things. Why? Because, like, listen, remember, for some single moms out there, not all, but some, they're willing to accept a little bit more. Why? Because they want that companionship. Because people do judge them for having children. Their, their standards are lower. If this BBL Becky didn't have no kids, she wouldn't be with it. Is that wrong? Why else would he get with a BBL Becky with... I think that's what he wants. That's what he likes. I, I, I don't think that it's because this is all he can get. I don't think that. Um, he's not the worst looking man in the world at all. Um, I know I said in the previous vid he's not that cute because I, I don't think he's that cute. <laughs> but he's he's pretty, you know, average looking. Uh, so there, you know, a lot of people <laughs> that that would be interested in dating. Man, he's tall, so he has that benefit, you know. So some people would, you know, be interested in him based on, on that. So I, I just don't think that this is the best he can do. Um, I, I think... This is what he wants. He likes this this life. Kids, if he could get another one, why would he go in contravention with his own ideology if he could get the same type of girl without kids? Uh. So they talk about, I make six figures this, this and that. I'm over this hype, this and that. But then you still end up with the single mom that you be yelling about? Exactly. And I gave him shit for listing those uh, traits off because they, they are not that important and they don't make a top tier man. So I still stand by that. That's still the case. But as far as initial attraction, obviously you'll be able to attract more women if you are, I don't know, parading your money around um, and you are tall or whatever the case. So I... Don't think that automatically makes you a high value man, um, but at the same time, I'm aware that you know people are more attracted to uh, a taller man, you know, and they're they're more attracted to average and above, <laughs> you know. So he meets those standards as far as initial attraction goes. Doesn't mean he's a top tier man, but he's able to get better than a, a single mom. And I don't want to say that because I'm not trying to shit on single single uh, moms. But the point is, I, I don't feel like he's with her because that's the best he can do. So I disagree with Abba um, in that regard. But I, yeah, I just think that's what he wants. I don't even believe you can get what you want. 
Your whole business model is on is predicated on the ability. You know the truth, and you be able to get what you I want. I think he's yeah, a liar want. and a scammer. Why do you think these guys go he either for single moms, eighteen year olds, or fobs fresh off the boat, mm. or you know, or they try to import? You notice a pattern between all three of these? Mm -hmm. What is it? There's, there's, there's That's a different. Or, either because they don't have the connection, or they don't know better. Or because their standards are lower because they know that they got a, a baggage that is right there. Right. All of these people are more malleable, more easily controlled. That's perfect for dudes like these who got these. I also think he's happy to have him a white queen. Let's be clear. Let's talk about it. Because look at the goofy, you know, shit that he's, that he's saying and the content that he's making. Oh, we have a mixed baby. Like, he, he clearly puts white women on the pedestal. And this is... this. It's probably the best white woman he can get <laughs> that he's at least attracted to. He probably can get like a busted. Anyway, so yeah, maybe Abba has a point <laughs> as far as the white woman goes. All right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this is the best white woman he can get that he's actually attracted to. Mmm, mmm. Okay, never mind, Abba. Insecurities and not Might be on the themselves. Same. That's why these guys go for it. Now that I'm I wouldn't thinking think about, about race psyche, at first. It actually makes sense. That they go for single mom, they go for the most vulnerable. The, the, the problem that I have with that is why you trash though? It's the trashing part that you go for whatever. I don't care. The, the, that's money, that's the ideology. Mm -hmm. You want to make money off the scam, you gotta say the right things. Did you not notice all the, all the Ripley guys have a bunch of girls they always say 18, 17? Yeah. Barely legal. There's a, there's a problem that's with that, yeah. Yeah. What, what do they talk about? The imports. They're submissive, they do as they're told. That's the trend. So at first, it didn't make sense for me why they went for the single moms, but now it actually does. The reason why is they feel like they're going to fall in that category. They're the most malleable. In observing them, what I can't understand why, because remember what I said when I said they're more likely than the regular dudes? I was like, why would that be? And then I thought about it. I was like, wait, regular dudes are not necessarily looking to control women. They're not looking to con do all this other stuff. Or, or what was the other one? OnlyFans models. OnlyFans models, yeah. Why do they go for those two? Because the normal guy is not going to go for them because of what they do. So they kind of lower their expectance, their, 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 they lower their, uh, their standards because they know that like people that do porn as well, they lower yeah. their standards because nobody's really gonna get to them. So they, it's kind of, not that they have to say yes, but not a people are gonna say yes to them. A lot of people who do the adult work, they're a bit isolated socially because yeah. of what they're doing. Yeah. Right? They are very primed to find dudes who are not going to treat them well. Who are I, 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 the, I, yeah. These guys will go and date these women and then hold it against them that they do this kind of work. It's like, well, why would you date an OnlyFans model if you go hold it against her? But it's about that control aspect. Mm. There's that resentment there. How many times have I seen red pillars with OnlyFans girls? Uh-huh. And like they'll be in full on relationships. They're not just banging these women. They'll be dating them. They'll go out to dinner. They'll fresh. introduce them to the mom. <laughs> we spent New Year's together, and that's the time when he asked me to be his girl to commit to him. And he posted a video of us on social media. He said to me, "I love you. I don't want you to be with other men." <laughs> a few days later, he asked me to meet his mom. Take him back to Barbados. Have some coconuts. Yeah. Do you guys not see the pattern? It is, it is, it is actually, like, once you start connecting the dots, you realize, yeah, like, the oh, dot, yeah. these guys are terribly insecure. Mm -hmm. They do want control over their women, and that's why they go after the very women they tell you not to go after. I, but that's my theory. Mm. What do you think? You can't fuck other guys. I can. Why do you fuck other guys? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to think about the psyche. Is it, is it, is that's it just about money? what he's saying, I It's got to be. I think people see red pillars. You know what this makes me realize? Red pillars really are simps. They are I true mean, easy marks. That's the irony of like all. People for scammers. Simps you know what I'm saying? Simps to what? They're the easiest marks. Oh, you mean the the audience? The audience. Oh, okay. That's what they are. Oh, okay. And, and there's no way you can convince me otherwise, because these guys are not even scamming you guys properly. Like if you look at their books, if you look at their TikToks, you can see that they not live in none of the shit yeah, they tell you. Yeah, it's not hard live. to find. The stuff that they're yelling, "Hey, you piece of shit! If you don't do this, you're a fucking beta." And you guys just eat, yo, at some point you just got to wake up to the fact that everyone's selling you a lie. Maybe this ideology doesn't buy lies. I don't know. And people say, well, the message is still good. God damn. Well, all the messengers fucked up. The delivery is All the messengers are is fucked the message up. Still this good? is the first one for the me this year. Like, I'm actually, like, huh? So we did a video and the update is, huh? <laughs> That's a good update. I got it, man. I 
ain't mad at it because seeing you baffled is really a first for me. <laughs> but you know, maybe I should be ba- baffled because like why this happens be, people again. commit crimes and then document their whole shit and post it on TikTok. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe people are so attention starved they don't even care. They're not even hiding the fact that they scammers. And people are still gonna support this guy. So why should he hide it? So why should he hide it? I mean, you know, pressure had been exposed for scamming and, and, and basically defrauding, not living any of the stuff they talk about. They still got fan base. What is there to really say? If people want to get scammed, they go ahead. Thoughts? A lot of them. This guy's a reason why black women don't like me. <laughs> Like you? Because I just take my girl. I just want my girl out of my business. And this motherfucker goes on dunking on y'all. It's not me. It's him. It's not me. I'm not him. He's ragging on black single moms. Is it just black single moms? It's really... He's really ragging on... What I've seen. I've seen the red... Whenever he's trashing the moms. Okay, but you can only base off what he says. What he say? Single moms are unmarriageable. He's single saying, moms are for recreational... So if he didn't say black single moms... He's with a single mom. Fair. So, so you would think that it would it would make no sense. Like you're saying, yo, you're trashing on single moms. Why you why you're not why 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 are you trashing single moms and you're with with a single mom? And then all the single moms that he's trashing on his videos are white. So the only reason why he would trash them but not her is really because she's white. Hello. And if you look at the content that he makes, the content is very like interracial black white black this is the reason why this is the reason why single moms leads to degenerate uh, don't do de- that degenerate. Right. Right. Don't do whenever he spoke and he said the things that make it a high value man when he said and i'm black at that if you had that on mm. i'm black if, i went yo fuck, fuck. that sounds weird i felt some type of way mm-hmm. and then i look at all the 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 content that he makes and it's very corny interracial propping up like yeah i'm with a white girl and i'm when this guy says he's a trick and he's a finish i believe that what, what he said i believe that he's right because think about it you wouldn't use that as a selling point that makes you you a, a good <laughs> a good catch like if i'm open to dating everybody i'm not gonna be like well something great about me is that i'm i'm black like what because other black people aren't impressed that I'm black. <laughs> it's like, well, okay, we, we both black. Like, who cares? It's not about that. You know? But if I'm only dating non-black people, then it's like, who? Look at me like I'm like a fetish. Let's be clear. Because the type of non-black women that these red pillars date, the black ones, I, I feel like they date the ones who have a fetish for black men. That's just what it gives. But anyway, that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, that that would be the only reason that he would mention that. That's a I've never heard anybody say that. That's a very odd thing to list off. I'm black. That's a that's a plus. What? Unless you're like, oh, the non-black women that I'm around who lust after me, they 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 have a fetish for black men. So that's a plus. So look, look at look at preach catching on. I peeped that too. That that was weird. Things as well that he's he's a yeah I'm yeah I'm when he said I'm a black dude because you know <laughs> fetish I'm the fetish I believe he said that hello you believe, believe that as well. Man, I don't have anything to say about it. Talk about disagree it. With that. Yeah, cool. So it's not so much that he's dunking on. That's the reason why he's not dunking on single women. He's thinking on single black women. That's but I understand he's a hypocrite. Okay. I told you before that, you know, red pills sound like cosplay. Gotcha. The energy that I have is cosplay and emulating someone else. And it's the nerdy that I saw and one I can I can see in the another. You see that they're they, they are uh, insecure because the minute something don't go well, they're yelling and they're puffing up chest. Mm-hmm. They claim to they, they cosplay stoic. They cosplay all the but when things happen or they get confronted they they lose it yeah so the insecurity is definitely there okay I'll, I'll leave it there i agree with a lot of what they said uh for sure it's it's so sad because they just scam so many people <laughs> and have their followers believe in that they you know live a certain lifestyle and they actually don't they're just pandering to y'all because they feel like okay this is what they want to hear and, you know, this is going to put money in my pocket. This is going to bring attention to my podcast, bring me views, followers, money, da-da-da. And they're living a completely different life. It's, it's wild. 
really wild. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!